The GAA is the governing body of Gaelic games in Ireland, with the two major spectator sports being Gaelic football and hurling. There are dozens of grounds that are used throughout the country, but in this video, we're just going to be checking out the top 10 largest. And yes, I am aware that the season only just ended recently, but there's no time like the present. We start off with Brefney Park, a stadium that is 100 years old this year. In those 100 years, it has changed, of course, but perhaps not as much as most 100-year-old stadiums. Because after all these years, the vast majority of the capacity is coming from terracing, rather than seating. And a good portion of it is uncovered. However, as you'll notice throughout the video, that is a pretty common theme amongst GAA stadiums. They're a bit old school in that respect. But considering the town's population is under 8,000, this place is pretty impressive. Mikhail Park. Well, before we talk about the stadium, I had a look at Mayo's kit and I was disappointed. Not in the colour scheme or anything like that. I'm just bemused that the head of advertising at Hellman's or Heinz didn't see this as a prime advertising opportunity. Anyway, this is actually one of the few all-seater GAA stadiums, having been converted bit by bit from a mostly terraced stadium starting in the 90s. Although the seating at the ends is concrete bench seating, so it still suffers from the unsightliness of terracing. The main stand's where it's at. It was built in the late 2000s and shelters all of its spectators from the rain. Pierce Stadium. A lot of grounds were built on land that was previously landfill or a swamp or some other undesirable real estate. While the land that this stadium was originally built on was known as the Boggers which tells you everything you need to know. But they brought in a heap of soil from a nearby river deepening operation, and now it's a stadium. There were probably some additional steps to becoming a stadium actually. It is very similar to Brefney Park, come to think of it. Nolan Park is home to a club called Kilkenny. Oh my god, it's Kilkenny! No, no, no. Kilkenny is derived from an old Gaelic word for church. This ground has a bit of everything, bench seats, bucket seats, terracing, and a large proportion of the spectators are under the cover of a roof. Speaking of which, a little under 10 years ago, this stand's roof was partially blown off during a storm called Storm Darwin, which is a fitting name because only the strongest of roofs survived. This subsequently eradicated the more vulnerable roof DNA from the gene pool. St. Tiernax Park. Whenever a ground is named after a saint, I always have to look them up, because some of them have some really cool superpowers. This guy, however, just raised someone from the dead, which is good, I mean, it's a useful skill, but it's unoriginal to say the least. He also founded the town of Clonus, in which this ground is located. This town's actually in Northern Ireland, which is not an anomaly. All 32 of the traditional counties of Ireland are represented, six of which are in the north. Casement Park. Now, this stadium would have been the actual number six, but it's abandoned. And they're trying to build a new stadium on the site, so I'm not going to count it. Fitzgerald Stadium. Wow! Not even the satellites have the patience for the Irish weather. I don't blame them though. I'm pretty sure that every time I've watched a game of Gaelic football on TV, it's been raining cats and dogs. I even saw a meerkat once. But on the flip side, all that rain makes for some quality dairy products. So swings and roundabouts. When the weather is nice though, this ground is a sight for sore eyes. Man, I need to ease up on the idioms. But yeah, it seems like a beautiful place to watch a game. Gaelic Grounds When we visit this famous town, I usually have a poem written down. But I haven't this time, because I struggle to rhyme, and that's integral to a limerick. See, what, what did I tell you? This stadium follows a similar formula to most of the GAA grounds. With the terracing at the ends and the fact that only one stand has a roof. 
But surprisingly, all of the uncovered stands were built in the mid 2000s. Interestingly, this place actually hosted a couple of college football games back in the early 90s. Pack week. Uh, well, it means O'Keefe Park. Speaking of redevelopments, it looks like we caught this one in the midst of a rebuild. But no, these shots are actually several years old. It was completed in 2017. The exterior is like nothing else we've seen so far. Very modern, as you might expect. And it's more of the same on the inside, where we have an appearance of a triple tiered stand for the first time. They have still stuck with the uncovered terraces at either end though. It's tradition, I guess. Oh, and despite the fact I struggled with it, I do appreciate that they used the ground's Irish name. Semple Stadium. I thought this seemed like an oddly rural setting for one of the country's largest stadiums, and yeah, Thurless has a population of under 8,000, just like the one we saw at the start of the video. Of course, the entire county has around 160,000 people, and Thurless is pretty central, but the real reason a small town like Thurless has such a large stadium is that it was actually where the GAA itself was formed way back in 1884. As for the design, well, it's pretty simple. I do like this asymmetrical terrace that has been shaped by its surroundings. Croke Park. Thurless might be the historical home of the GAA, but Croke Park is their literal home. It's where their headquarters is. Not only is this the largest stadium in the country and one of the largest in Europe, but I'd say that if it weren't for college football, it would be the largest stadium in the world that hosts mainly amateur sports. Their large capacity is especially impressive given that one side of the ground is confined by the train tracks that it backs onto. Chugga 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 Oh, nice stadium. I'm a train by the way. Chugga 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 choo choo. That terrace known as Hill 16 wouldn't look out of place at any of the grounds we've seen in this video. The huge U-shaped structure that wraps its way around the rest of the ground does the heavy lifting, making up about 85% of the capacity. So there you have it. I don't think any league outside of Ireland has stadiums quite like the ones we saw in this video. Anyway, consider subscribing if you're new, and as always, thanks for watching, have a good one.